Want to see some more concept art for a picture book getting done? Then you need to check this video out. Hello everyone, it's me, your old pal Max West. As you remember, I draw comics and I also do children's picture books. And I'm going to be working on that today. I finished inking this work here with uh, Hilda and Richie in Japanese clothing. And in this work, in this video here, I'm going to color them in with markers in just a bit. I'm just going to fill in some of the black area here. Mm -hmm. Probably in June, I'm going to hit the road some more to visit bookstores, local libraries, get them to carry the Hilda and Richie book. You know, in addition to these two, I'd like to do more with uh, my comic, Dominic and Claire. But, I guess that can be a whole other video. Right? <clears throat> there we go. See how good that looks? Alright. Just going to mask in the uh, ears here. I'm going to be using uh, some pink colored pencil. My goal is to get Hilda and Richie in more libraries. While I'm personally going to be visiting various ones here in North Dakota, I hope to get some of the really big libraries like New York, Boston, Los Angeles, Chicago, Miami, and so on to be carrying them. Uh, I'm going to start here with uh, Hilda. I'm going to be using some orange marker. Color in her fur here. Again, markers are one of the best mediums for coloring. You can work very quickly with them. They dry quick, and they reproduce well, and they're pretty easy to learn. I mean, I have said it many times before, anyone can draw. You can draw, your neighbor can draw, your mother can draw, your father can draw, that guy down the street can draw. It's a skill that can be learned, just like with swimming or riding a bicycle. Ah, all right then. Let's get more of this color in. There we go. I'm just color in her tail here. Probably for her kimono, I'm going to go with pink. Probably this part here, I'm going to color it in red. Probably the same with the uh, fan there. I really like to visit Japan one of these days. Go to Tokyo visit some of the other places like Hokkaido or Okinawa. Alright, let's 
Let's get Richie's fur colored in. Hmm. Quite a few ladies contacting me telling me how adorable Richie is. Well, he is meant to be cute. Is starting to shape up to look good, especially the color is helping to bring it to life. As I did explain in my coloring comics video, working with color, I mean, there's a science to it. I mean, you can't just simply slap every color on the page or on the illustration. I mean, if that can confuse the reader or the viewer. Check that video out if you, uh, if you want to know more. All right, there we go. I think I'm going to work first with Richie there. Yeah, you see how good that looks? All right, let's move on here. Probably since Richie is the smaller one here, I'm going to work with him first. Give him some brown pants there he's wearing under his happy coat. Oh yes, I picked up a fresh batch of markers the other day. As I have begun work on Hilda and Richie's wizard, it's my eventual goal to get that finished. I'm going to do some more drawing with them in a future video. Right. Okay. Color in his uh, the belt here as well as the. Uh, well as a sash there in blue. I'll leave the shirt and his uh, Hachi Maki there white. I think this marker is starting to dry out. Pretty good there. Combination of blue and orange. All right, now we got to do Hilda. So first, just do, uh, do this part of the fan here. Excellent. 
know, just when you, if you want to learn to draw, just go ahead and do it. We only learn by doing. I try to get in as much daily practice as I can, and you should too. Just do it, practice as much as you can, learn all you can, don't worry about what other people will say. Their opinion doesn't matter. There's no shortage of resources to teach you to draw. You know, you got my videos to use as a blueprint and a guideline. There are a lot of other videos here on YouTube that you can look at to practice drawing. You know, visit your local library or the nearest bookstores. They have plenty of very good books that will teach you how to draw. They'll give you all kinds of pointers. In the end, though, you know, videos and books can only do so much. All the help in the world will, won't do you any good unless you're willing to help yourself first and you have to make an effort. As I, kept, I keep telling you, just go ahead and draw. Just do it. Okie doke, almost there. It's going to be quite some time before I get into any of the Hilda and Ritchie books where they visit Japan and other places. But I think I'll be well prepared to write them and illustrate them when the time comes. Now you see, that looks incredible. And a little bit more. Add a shadow here for them. There we go. I'll end by signing the work. And that is how you draw a piece of concept art. In this case, this is for the picture book I plan to do. Yeah, that's pretty amazing work, isn't it? Well, that's it for today's video. Hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon to be notified of more videos. And if you want to see more of Hilda and Richie, just check out the links below. I, I have information on where you can get their first picture book. Until then, everybody, this is me, your old pal Max West, saying goodbye.